my dear. This calls for a celebration. It's many years since you invited me to your bedroom. A bedroom in name only, and I did not invite you. I summoned you. My dear, a command performance. You triapic buffoon, Bradley. <laughs> and take your hand off my wheel. It is the world coming to when a man cannot fondle his own wife's wheels. If you were not so obsessed with lust and greed, you'd know why I sent for you. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Then you're unaware that our daughter Isabel is about to bring shame and disgrace upon this house. If you mean she's knocking about with one of the local lads. You no, you don't care. Let's face it, Mother, it's better than knocking up big taxi fares to Manchester. She's a hot-blooded girl sprung of hot-blooded loins. She must take her pleasure somewhere. You're vile, Bradley. She's rolling in the dirt with some subhuman brute. Probably one of your own employees. Does that mean nothing to you? Ah, oh, you're right. You can't be doing both jobs 100%, so if Isabel's not grumbling, it must be affecting productivity. Bradley, the situation is more serious than you realise. You don't mean she'll be bringing a little stranger into the house? No, she'll be bringing a big stranger into the house. She's talking of marrying him. Wash your mouth out! Ah, that pierced the hippopotamus hide of your complacency, didn't it? He loves me once. He loves me twice. He loves me thrice.